Harrison Mixbus and Mixbus 32C both come bundled with some incredibly powerful MIDI plugin tools. Yes, these process the MIDI data instead of processing audio, and you can do some really clever stuff with them. I'm going to show you three of my favorites that are getting use in current projects that I'm working on, so let's check them out. First up, we have the MIDI Enforce Scale plugin. It's really super simple. There are only three controls. Let's have a closer look. Filter channel. We're not going to worry about this today because I tend to record only one channel worth of MIDI on each individual track, but this allows you to identify specific channels in a multi-channel MIDI recording. Scale. Well, I'm going to choose G major because I want to work in E minor, which is the relative uh, minor uh, scale, which is the same notes as G major. Mode, well, there are a few mode options here, always down, always up, and discard. Now, these basically look for notes that are not in the scale. So let's say I play uh, an F natural. Uh, that's not in G major. So what's going to happen? Well, that's going to be pushed up to F sharp. Uh, it's really that simple. Okay, so I improvised some random chords on my MIDI keyboard over there, and you'll notice from what I'm about to play you, I'm not the best keyboard player at all. So let's have a quick listen to what we started with. Okay, really not very nice to listen to. But let's engage that MIDI Enforce Scale plugin. much nicer and it can actually be used live. You can literally just play in and have your MIDI notes corrected on the fly. MIDI strum. This is a really useful plugin that allows you to create guitar style strumming. Everything from jingly jangly uh, guitar playing through to classical guitar or even harp like effects. So let's have a listen to uh, uh, that same chord progression um, played with the MIDI strum plugin. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the controls. We've got BPM host sync set up. We can choose the strum direction as if we are actually playing a guitar. We can choose alternate, always down, always up, up and down eighth notes, up and down beats, all sorts of options there. There's a note collect timeout that uh, identifies whether something is part of that strum pattern or not. And we can also change the strum duration. So I'm gonna pull that strum duration right down, make it uh, really short, and you'll hear the difference. One thing that I like to do with strum duration is to pull it just below the expected length of time. So for instance, if I go back to my uh, half note setting here and I just pull it a tiny bit down, it feels like the musician is playing with a bit of feel rather than robotically. So let's have a listen to that. We've also got strum acceleration that indicates whether the uh, virtual musician is speeding up as they go through those strings. Uh, we can even have a velocity change so they can become more aggressive or less aggressive as they're playing the higher notes. Finally, let's look at the MIDI end tap delay. This is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a tap delay for MIDI, so instead of uh, actually delaying the audio as you would with a normal plugin, it actually repeats the MIDI notes at lower volume. Let's have a quick listen to the sort of thing it can do.
Of course, we can use dotted eighth notes by selecting 0.75 in the repeat time, and that gives us that sort of edge type feel. So those were three of my favorites, but there are so many more MIDI plugins to investigate. If you don't have a copy of Mixbus and Mixbus 32C, you can pick up a free trial as Harrison Consoles. Dot com. So enjoy, have a play with all these MIDI plugins, and I will see you all next time.